Hello to you and welcome to Black Cats TV. We're here with this week's Transfer Roundup. We've been scouring the internet and all the other sources that we possibly can to bring you some news, if there is any news. Uh, with me, as always, is Conrad. How are you doing, Conrad? Hi, uh, not too bad. Uh, fingers are burning from certain sites that you look on or you, when you go on X and, you know, you're looking for player details and you end up finding nude ladies. It just, you know, all stuff just goes wrong. <laughs> Accidentally happens to me all the time. Yeah. Yeah, and, and yeah. I just don't do it at work. <laughs> Not safe for work. Yeah. But this this is safe for work. Um, so news, news, news. There is actually news. It's not just like clutching at total straws this week. Um yeah. there's we've had hints off the actual uh, of Sunderland itself that Samed's not part of Labrie's plans by the looks mm. of it. Interesting. With that so that go back to I keep seeing what was it, Isidore posting little pictures and videos of him, his, his own separate sort of training, training regime. Yeah, well, which we assumed was getting to get him up to strength, right? Mm. I, I assumed that was it because he I know he arrived injured, a bit like um, Abdullahi as well. They both came in carrying injuries, um, which is not uncommon for our signings to do so. I think it's how we tend to try and pick them up with little knocks. And, or, or, or due to have surgery in a few days' yeah, time. and <laughs> Exactly, yeah. Some appendicitis <laughs> cases and things like that. No, um, so I just assumed it was, oh, we're, we're gearing up and, and hopefully going to, you know, uh, see him in the he near looks, future. But... He looks like a great potential player. Why Why do you think Labrie's just dismissed him or not part of the plans? Is it just Could... competition for place? Maybe, but at the moment, you would think with our injuries, uh, our um, suspensions, our um, potential outgoings that we'll come on to shortly, uh, you'd think midfield is the one area where we probably think, actually, do we not want to, to start yeah. just sending them back? A la two years ago in January, but he's alone, Sims got right? taken back. He is, but Sims they got taken back and we thought we didn't think to replace him. And then Stuart got injured and we had to get someone. Is it not an ultimatum from the club he we've loaned him from, though? Like, play him or send him back? That that he's getting more experience, sense. right? No, he's not. But, I mean, don't, does he need it in this league? He's a Champions League player that a couple of years ago Liverpool were looking at. And yeah, but if, if they see, want to send him out and get him game time, get him ready to either be sold on or to play, and we're not giving him game injured, time... Though. Like if he's yeah. if he's injured, like if he was if it was like a Lexic situation, he's on the bench every week and he's just not coming on. I could mm. fully understand that bit, but considering that he doesn't even make the squads, and then we see him, you know, with the physio doing the big deadlift up the hill on that video that I sent you. Um, yeah, if you can put it here, if you want, where I'll he's going up, <laughs> yeah, uh, where he's he's doing all of that, and you're sort of thinking that strength and conditioning training, you know, getting yourself sort of back up, and you thought, oh, maybe he's not not far away. It would be a bit weird to be like, just go lift a big bag up a hill, mate. We're just not going to play you. Just just go just go do that. You know that that seems a bit funny. Mm. Um, I wonder if it's. I mean, I don't know where those those rumours came from, but I mean, I I want him to stay. I want him to play, and that might just be bias from watching YouTube highlights of him. Yeah, <laughs> and, everyone uh, looks good in like, yeah. <laughs> Rodwell yeah. looks good in YouTube highlights. Yeah, <laughs> but I don't know. There's just something about it. it. Just sort of went. Actually, this would fit really well. Um, we've done quite good this year at picking players that I would have assumed are above us in a mm. nasty way of saying it. So. Meppen is a class above and easily one of the best centre backs in this league and probably shouldn't be playing in this league. Isidore, we picked up, and I think he's one of the best strikers in this league. You know, I'm, I'm not going to sit there and go, oh, he'd walk the Premier League, but he's definitely a threat that could score goals against he, any yeah, team. Yeah, he's not, he's not going to be instantly dropped out of the team, is he? No, definitely um, not. Before we go on to the reasons for possibly getting rid of him, um, mm. can I just say to everyone, Give us a like, give us a subscribe, hit the button down below. It's completely free to do. Loads of you watch the videos. We'd love to get the subscribers up to match that, and we'll be giving away some free shirts and stuff when we hit a thousand. So hit subscribe. Um, do it now. Do it, do it now. Do it now. <laughs> get to the chopper and subscribe. So, um, one of the other rumors outgoing mm. is a few of them. Job. Is yeah. Job. Job in now, the black and yellow. Yeah, there's been there's been quite a few, um, but this one seems like Job's going to get a lot of attention now, right? He's just gone away with the England team, so yeah, what, he did what, an how unreal much, pass how much the other day. Stock can you put in yeah. this rumor? 
I don't know if it was anybody else other than Dortmund, I'd probably say, ah, it's just, it's, you know, it's a load of faff at the minute until something's on paper. But because of the family link that there clearly is of Jude Bellingham being there and his family being like the agents of Jude and Job as well, yeah. I think it's a natural progression step for, for it. And it, it does fit that it's like Dortmund are well known for taking, you know, English talent as well, and, mold, and even other nations, and moulding it into their first team sort of players. I mean, I know Haaland's probably not the best example, but he was at, was yeah. at and then was it at um, Salzburg, and then to Dortmund. They had um, Claudio Reyna's son, uh, Giovanni Reyna, was it? Um, All right, okay. Came through as well. Uh, obviously, Jude Bellingham as well. Sancho is another one as well. And then they've got, is it Adeyemi at the minute, who just... So played. do you think young that, players and they push them through yeah do you think that that would appeal to job then i think so because it's um more than climbing up to the premier league with yeah uh, yeah uh oh I, I think i'd like us to be smart and say look january's not the time like if we don't right, get promoted yeah. we're happy to listen to any offer that dortmund have in mm. in the summer if we get promoted i would like us to be like can you give us a year but if it's like, 30 million, bang, on the yeah, table. If, if there's a stupid figure that comes in, because if you think, if we get 30 million quid for him, we've, what, times 10 our investment that we've put in him, that yeah. we bought him for, sorry. Uh, and I know Birmingham will probably have some sort of sell-on clause or, or something oh, yeah. for a bit of a, a kickback. Hopefully just like 10 like or 15%. But... Yeah, <laughs> something like that. But you sit there and go, okay, well, that's money that, that ideally you invest back into... You know other positions and and things like that, uh, and if maybe Samed into wages, could, potentially. You know where with uh, Samed maybe outgoing, that would free up a, a canny penny for a former player's very high wages at Ajax to to come back. So it's all these little things that just seem to tie in. Sometimes they might not happen, but they there's a route through them, isn't there? Through all of these, uh, <laughs> yeah, bits. it's navigating that route. Yeah, I, I, I do think that if Dortmund come in with good money for him. I think he would be very interested in that because of his brother playing for them before. Um, yeah, any if if it had been City, Liverpool, Man United, I don't think he's as interested. But yeah, something about going abroad to Dortmund, like his brother did. And then yeah. there's the, the link if, there. If that works out, he's going to go to Real Madrid, isn't he? Yeah, because he's seen how his brother's developed. And if mm. that's his development path and he can follow the same path, that's going to be more appealing yeah. than sitting on a bench at a Premier League club for a season yeah. and hopefully Definitely. making a push, you know. Yeah, and um, I always read about how Jude uh, says about how they always end up watching the Sunderland games because his brother's playing. And so even the Real Madrid team and staff are already watching him and watching us at that point because of that link. And you're sitting there going, Oh, like I, I like you to look, but just don't, don't touch our toys. <laughs> <laughs> they're ours. They're ours. Yeah. How people look and stuff like that. Uh, Rig again. Um, I'm reading Man United. Uh, looking to make a swoop for him. So I'm reading two different things. Um, this and one I'll, of them I'll, from the Echo, was it? Well, I'll, I'll tell you the source. The source for the um, Man United reinterested in rig is mm -hmm. coming from the 72.co.uk, which is like okay. a championship league, one league, two kind of website. Mm -hmm. Usually semi-reliable, not really spam stories or so interesting, but we've always known United's kept an eye on him. Yeah. So, but then the Echo, um, the Sunderland Echo has said the Echo has learned that the player has no interest in leaving the club during the January transfer period, which is probably the best news we can hope for. Not that he wants yeah. to stay for five years' time, but just stay through January, get us over this mm. line. I think we, we seem to be a lot smarter at not losing our assets at stupid times. Like beforehand, like we would have been... It, Probably the previous thing would have been, oh, we'll keep Clark, build a whole team around him this year, and then in January first we'll sell him and be like, well, yeah. what, what, what's that about? Like, whereas we yeah. seem to be a bit like, okay, we'll do this, but even last year Clark could have gone, and we just held firm, and we were just like, you know, he doesn't go in January, you know, and it took until sort of very to the end of uh, this transfer window for him to go. Um, 
well, I'm, I'm, I'm glad, and I hope that's true from the 72 and from the Echo that that's the case. Um, it seems like he's got a very smart head on him as well, uh, and so does his uh, representatives or his family or you know whoever it may be that are just like, you're playing at the minute and you look amazing. Just yeah. keep going. Like, but you've I, had, but what, I mean, six even, months max. Even agents and families and stuff like that can be tempted by silly money, right? You can, I mean, well, look at Madger. He did what five months for us, and his uh, his agent was like, "Get out of there! You need to be doing this. You need to be doing that." And he's still in the same league that we are now, really. Like, and he's mm. doing well. Do you know what I mean? But you'd have thought if he'd have just had that year, and we'd have been promoted, he could have then leveled up with us, and then he could have gone on further on, played in a team that was sort of built with him. It's just that thing of they don't jump immediately. Like when we got relegated, and a sorrow had played like what you know, three months for us. And he's sitting there going, he's, he looks a decent right right midfielder. I think he'd be good in League One. And he jumps off thinking, nah, I'm better than this. Yeah. Like, and he's sitting there going, you'd played like three months of football. Like, yeah. you've got time. But I, I know it's some like players are, are like interested in the money and interested in that it's a short-lived thing. I get it. I've said it for years that we can develop great players. We just struggle to keep hold of them. <laughs> yeah, and it's it's really good to hear that about Rig. And I, and like I say, I hope it's true. Um, the Bellingham link does worry me, but I think my, my only clever. worry is um, from what I read. I don't know where this has come from with the Echo. Mm -hmm. uh, not that I don't trust them, but I, I've not seen like he said this or a quote from such a body. You know. Yeah, it's the echo has learned or something, hasn't it? Or yeah, that yeah. The so, they use. Yeah, and yeah, but imagine silly offers because the same thirty million rig, so jobs easily that as well. Yeah, they both are. Imagine sixty million pounds worth of offers on two players coming in January, but we've seen what it's like when we lose both them in the centre. What mm. the hell do you do and there? You can't just immediately just be like, right, well, there's 10 million on the next centre midfielder and there's 10 million on this one because they're not just going to come in and be ready-made and make us better or be as good. Mm -hmm. You know, it takes to people time to, to bed in. I mean, that's the one criticism at the moment I would probably say is that sometimes when we get these players, it takes them a year or two to even feature and get in. So Mundell, as you were saying in January last year, great player on our hands here. We just need to get him playing. We just need to do this. And they just weren't. They were just like, nope, Clark's indisposable. You can't do it. And then when the yeah. hand was forced, they put him in and we're sitting there going, hell, we had this guy on the bench this whole time. Like, why have we done this? Yeah. Um, my ender, we shipped him out on loan after he was the only one that looked semi-decent last year in, in the couple of games he had. And then he's come in this year, got a few goals, and admittedly we've then got and got a better striker. But you're sitting there going, if you'd have played him last year, like if you'd have actually yeah. rushed him instead of doing it the other way. like I don't know. I mean, that might be method to the madness and they might have needed that development. Look, I think we played Job a lot last season and I don't think he was anywhere near as good. He looked fatigued. He looked like he couldn't keep up. And then this season, he's done really well. So I think he's, you've he's got to trust being managed. He's been managed better and coached better, I would say, by the Brie and, and everyone like that. Whereas I think last year, it almost came down to a needs must. Uh, if yeah. I'm being very generous and it was like, oh, you just need to play, you know, false nine, attacking midfielder, wherever we say, you just have to do it up and down. Whereas when he's been given this new role of the engine of our midfield, I think yeah. he's thriving in it. I mean, you might say if we lose them two, the stars might align and that might give us enough money to afford wages and get somebody like Henderson in, right? Mm -hmm. The rumours of him finishing his career here. However... Is that I what don't you see want? Henderson as a, a Is that what you want? No, because Henderson's not a replacement for them too. He's I a get us through this season. He's not going to be a Premier League player again. Yeah, is he? exactly. He's he's a leader and he's an experienced head to come in and and navigate us through that that bit. That's what I want. And he's someone that the players can look up to and look for guidance, even if he's not playing or even when he is playing. You know, that's mm -hmm. that's what I I want from Henderson. So if you suddenly said your two best players are gone. But you've got Jordan Henderson in now. I'm sitting there going, like, that's well, what's that? What's our centre look not, like there? It, it's you've not the Brown. same midfield, is it? Brown, Neil, Henderson. and Henderson. Yeah, Brown and Henderson could be very where's, similar. Where's players. your creativity in that? Mm, exactly. Neil would have to be more forward, yeah, in that and one. one of them would have to be the tough tackling engine. And I don't see it being Neil or Brown. And I know it's not Henderson from watching him for years. Yeah. 
Yeah, it's difficult. So we have to start... might be really good at driving us forward. He was always very good at doing that, and he was a forward-thinking player, but wasn't an attacking midfielder. Now, mm. uh, quick incoming rumor. Um, one obviously that we were looking at before the transfer window closed initially was gift Orban. Well, Christmas is the time guy? for giving. Yes, we would like a gift this January. Um, is this but, because of Leon's uh, sudden plight in um, yeah, divisions? Can, can you explain what happened, what's happening with so Leon? I've had a bit of a, a read-through, and I think... Uh, let me just bring up my notes that I sent to you, if that is okay. Um, it was, <laughs> it's if fine. it's not tough, I'm doing it anyway. Uh, where's that picture of them looking dreadful? So, uh, Olympic Lyon have been handed a provisional League 2 relegation. It includes a transfer ban due to their financial situation. So, obviously, look, cut the cut the crap. They're in the shit. And where were, they, where were they in the league before this? Couldn't tell you that. They, they weren't doing great, I don't think. They're not like top of the league or anything. But, uh, you know, they weren't... If you fly in, nobody looks, do they? If Man City was suddenly eighth and doing this, everyone looks at them. But because they're sort of up the top, no one really pays attention to it. Um, what league? Yes, yeah, League One, League Earn, mm. and they're going down a division to League Two. Um, unfortunately, not League Two in this division. Yeah, Olympic Leon. The fifth. How far that's, off first, though? That's a kick in the teeth. Um, Eleven points. Well, that gives me hope that one day it'll happen to Newcastle in their financial situation. <laughs> um, All right, so what? Who can we? We can. This is the players we can scalp from Leon as they go down, as we're due to go up. We could get Wilfred Zaha. I used to like him. <laughs> Plays where Mundell does. Do you want him to play instead of Mundell? Yeah, I can play forward. Um, Lacazette is there? Uh, no, he, definitely he not. Be- he not to see the end of now. Arsenal's time, definitely not. <laughs> Gift Orban, of course, who we're looking at, but do we need another striker now? This is the question. Is Gift Orban the one that we nearly signed and then they went, oh, he's actually playing in this game yeah, and then yeah, he scored yeah. twice as we were literally doing the thing? At, yeah, yeah, yes, on the, yeah. The transfer That's deadline. Transfer. That's yeah, it, yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah well, but I mean, do we need another striker? Matic, probably. there you go. Oh, God, why are we looking at all the players with 36? Or something? <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, um, it's the football manager coming out yeah. from, from the game. Um, <laughs> no, um, I think we, you'd always look. I think that would be your one. If you're going to move on, as we said last week, about you know Barr and Rusin potentially moving out, um, mm-hmm. you would probably need another one. Connolly's only, what, a year? And as we've discussed on uh, Black Cats TV, as we've discussed on SAFC Fan TV, um we're not that keen to to extend. I don't know what the managerial side of it think or how the second half of the season goes. So you're sitting there going, yeah. if you suddenly had Isidore, Mayenda and Gift Orban as your three forwards, that looks a lot better. And Connolly, nowhere to be seen. Connolly, <laughs> somewhere else. League one. <laughs> and Lorna got rid of already. Just got rid of. It's like Dak after he left us went to Gillingham, didn't he? And he he's still had twice as much money as the uh, as the next best player I in mean, the team. Too. I, th- I, th- I think I give him a hard time. At least he scored for us at one point. <laughs> yeah, true, true. I mean, it was um, a tap in, but yeah. I think that's about it. No normal, no new news on Henderson or anything like that. So what that. was that? Rig, rig to United, but more than likely staying. Bellingham yeah. getting a link to Dortmund. Which is very possible with which the is ties possible that are there. With the ties, yeah. Samed possibly going back. To because we're not using him, whichever because we're not using him, uh, and obviously that frees up wages for Henderson. If there's another little yeah. look into it, and then Gift Orban because of the Leon situation, yeah, maybe we weren't as tempting as we are, will be now, but it's that's whether mm. we're going to go for another striker. I think Speakman might sit back and go, eh, We've got them now, yeah. We play hard to get, and then we'll throw in like a cheeky bit of like a pound and see what happens. <laughs> Um, well, yeah, that's it then. It's um, that's about as far as we go with the news for now. But we are fast approaching January, so mm. we will try and keep you updated. We won't do them every week if there's no news, but when it comes around yeah, to January, it's... we'll definitely be doing them regular. And I think it's worth saying this isn't our news. We're not claiming we have sources and stuff like that. There, we're literally like weathermen. We're just reading out what we find on the internet. That's all we're reading out. Oh. 
through messages or through, through uh, messages from sources nobody. from sources from a, another channel that we might be involved with but anyway yeah <laughs> exactly exactly but yeah that. Um, seriously, I do appreciate everyone watching. Um, if you can hit like, subscribe, um, leave a comment below. Let us know what you think. Let us know if you've got any news. That's always good to hear. Um, and we'll see you in the next one, which I think will be goals of the We've, season. Well, there'll be Millwall. It'll either be talking about Millwall or it'll be goals of the season. Could be either way. <laughs> Millwall, right? Millwall. <laughs> see you later. See you later. Slags. I don't know why that went Australian. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.